A couple of years ago, I swapped jobs. I was a television reporter for 25 years, and then I took another job with the Marshall County Alabama Sheriff's Office. It didn't pay exactly what I was making in television, so, you know, I got to thinking, you know, how can I deal with this? You know, I can either, A, I can find me another job and work, or I can look at the possibility of, you know, just cutting back expenses. So where do you cut back on expenses? Well, the highest bill I've got is electricity. And so I started watching a million YouTube videos from how to install your panels to how to install the inverter and all this kind of stuff. One of the ways to really save money is to be able to add a battery storage system. And people think, you know, the old car batteries. No, that, that's, that's out of the past and they don't do well with solar. But what does do well with solar is lithium ion technology. I mean, you use them in your hand tools and all of that kind of stuff. So I had seen where people on YouTube were taking batteries, the entire EV battery module out of a Nissan Leaf and reconverting it from 300 volts down to 48 volts to match their inverters of their solar power homes. And so I looked out and found me a used uh, EV Nissan Leaf battery. I did the same. I had it sent to the house. I broke it open. I did what, what they were showing on YouTube. And so now I've got um, 14 to 16 kilowatts of power that I can use from this battery. So bottom line, I was able to get this thing done for about $13,500. Now I still need some more battery. I've learned that during the winter, but during the summer, it's solar by day, it's battery by night, and so basically my power bill is like $29.99 pretty much every month from the spring well through the fall up until December. The power bills I was having, they range anywhere between $100 and you know, $250. So basically if you look at how much money that I had to add for purchasing the solar system, I pay an extra $60 a month on my home mortgage add you know a, a $30 power bill and I'm paying about $90 a month so for most all the months it's paying for itself and then even more so it's putting money back in my pocket I'll be honest with you this is the only thing that I've ever purchased that actually pays me back you can go buy a thirty or forty thousand dollar vehicle but this thing will actually pay you back and it's well worth its money now one of the things that I did learn is that you have to do what you can to help your house what I call flow better. If you can get away from that electric hot water heater, that's a good way of doing it. You know, you have to compromise. So what I did was I got a tankless natural gas um, hot water heater and that was worked out well. And also um, I got mini split air conditioning units and those are much more efficient. And not only that is they will uh, use a lot less power than the, uh, than the regular air conditioners do. One of my first attempts at solar was actually to make a solar hot water heater for my pool. It didn't work quite the way I had thought. You know, it was a learning curve, but hey, at least it, I made the mistake on that instead of my house. So the bottom line is this, I spent 13.5. Even if I spent 25.5, the bottom line is it's gonna continue paying for itself. I've got electric battery backup, and so I'm covered whenever the power goes out. It's something that pays for itself, and that's why I would recommend getting you one.